All right, welcome. So today we are bagging out out of the batch mixer. Uh, we are doing special reishi bags. So this is reishi. Uh, we fruit it in the bag and it makes antlers. Um, what usually happens is once these antlers hit the filter patch, you run into the issue of it then makes like a bridge for bacteria and contamination to get into the bag. So we've actually developed a special bag that the filter patch is way up at the top and uh, it's extra long. So that way we should have a lot more room for filter or for uh, fruit bodies to form. Additionally, we're only filling this to about four and a half to five and a half pounds. Um, we're using our batch mixer over here. And uh, we're, right now we're running on the, the smaller settings. So it's bagging out very, very little, you can see. And then if Keith switches it over to the larger setting, if we wanted to, say bag out an eight pounder, um, it's as simple as flipping the switches. And now it's dropping about seven and a half to eight pounds in the flip of a switch. So if you wanted to bag out some regular bags and then do some reishi bags or whatever the heck you're doing, different sizes, flip of a switch. Uh, additionally, we did water crystals. So these are um, used often in gardening and it's a polymer and, and basically they're lo they look like sand. And then this was um, nine ounces dry, like scoop wise and it filled up two buckets, two five gallon buckets um, with expanded crystals. Each one of the little sands turns into like a big old clump. It's similar to like Orbeez, I'm pretty sure. Um, and the idea of that is, well, we already overhydrated the, uh, the substrate. We overhydrated it about like 65%, which is about two or, two or 3% over what we normally do. And then additionally, when, and we bagged some out just that like that. And then additionally we added some with the water crystals. So we're gonna see how they do with the water crystals, how they do without. We bagged some out in the bigger size and that eight pound size. And then we did a lot of them in the four to five pound size. We just kind of want to see what works best. Um, I'm pretty sure the four to five pounds with water crystals are gonna win. What typically happens is after, you know, three or four months when they're getting fully ripe, the block will run out of moisture. So by adding those water crystals, it should really help with uh, finishing up the, the grow, you know, with the, the fruit formation without the, the substrate running dry. So we have the bags available on MyersMushrooms.com. They are FIB, look up FIB, XLSTL FIBs. Um, and then also we have these batch mixers. We're about to do a run of these. So if you want one, hit me up sooner than later so I can get you on that run. This is a three quarter yard. Capacity is about 700 pounds, maybe 800 pounds of wet depending on what you're doing. And we have them in the six by six, as well as a six by eight for your XLSA bags. But as you can see, you can still bag an XLSA on a six by six. Um, it just won't go up to 10, 12 pounds. It would only go to like eight and a half max when it's all the way on the highest setting. So that's it for now. Um, if anybody has any questions, let me know. We do have the Reishi also, that, that particular spawn available. On, on our website which which really grows great antlers so that's it for today y'all take it easy you just reminded me i need oh, to make